Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. I'm your host, Rita. I will be doing a solo review of the Ashton uh, Heritage. Now, before I get to all the notes on the Heritage and everything else, I want to thank Johnny Sticks for uh, the wonderful gifts that he sent me. I got a basket, which is this basket. Apparently his wife spent several hours filling it and setting it up. And I don't know if she was weaving the basket, but the email said so. So I'm going to use this basket to hold all my pipe leaf tins in and pipe tobacco and pipe stuff. Um, and maybe you know, from time to time a, um, a, uh, um, a pipe lighter or two, uh, etc. So tonight I also want to thank Johnny Sticks for this. I love cigars. Aaron got one of these too. Thank you, Johnny Sticks. A lighter. Zykar was in part of the presents. Apparently, he was uh, Johnny Sticks is a sweet man, and he was bragging to Aaron that uh, more likely the orange lighter here, since Aaron lost his orange lighter a while ago and found it, that he might be ending up with this lighter, and I would be keeping this one. This one is really nice. Very nice. Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate it. A whole bunch. So, thanks for the cigar bomb. I'm not done yet. He also threw in this Nub Cafe mug. As you all know, I'm Queen Nubs. I love Nubs. This thing was loaded with a little cigar sampler put together by Johnny Sticks. It had Nub Cafe, Mochiatos, Espressos, and, um, Mochiato, Espresso, and, uh, and, uh, I think... The last one, I just can't remember it, you know. Cappuccino. Cappuccino, right, thank you. So, it had six of those, came with this cup. This swag was uh, is awesome, thanks uh, Johnny Sticks. So, um, and, and then... And he joked about it being a, 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 a Muggo Nubs. And he said that he, uh, that should be on the market. I agree, I agree. So, I want to thank Aaron, because I got these two from Aaron. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3DS and Fire Emblem's Conquest. I'm working on Fire Emblem's Birthright, which is the same game, it's just a different path. This one's a lot harder, so. Uh, I want to thank Teddy, my sister, for this one. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. This is going to be really cool, thank you. Finally, as uh, you've seen, I didn't show you because the video was... Screw, uh, I thought I screwed up. This basket was uh, made by uh, Stephanie, Stephanie Sticks. So thank you, Stephanie, for this wonderful basket, and it, it's really beautiful. I plan to use this basket for my pipe leaf and etc. You know, pipe leaf, pipe tobacco. Now for one thing before we continue uh, on, don't forget your. Yeah, I want to thank him for this. Cool I want to thank Johnny Sticks for these little mini tin in my birthday of a cigar bomb. Little mini tin of cigars. Now, what I find funny about these, talking cigars now again, is it says on the tin, made in Spain. <laughs> and then finally, I want to thank Johnny Sticks for the Cubana, Cubatons? Cuba, uh, Cuba, 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 Uh, six by sixties, I believe. Thank you for those. And I want to thank Johnny Sticks for the, um, the Brickhouse uh, Fumases in 6x60. Thank you. Those cigars are really, really awesome and much appreciated. Thank you. want to uh, apologize to Johnny Sticks. Um, and your I haven't got the... Show. I haven't got the... Right now, the heart to uh, light up my uh, cigar review. The uh, Maximus, I believe it is. Just not yet. Yeah, uh, the Cuavanos are uh, the Churchills. Now yeah. let's let's get to brass tacks. Yes, your cigar. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> first of all, this is the Ashton Heritage. We will be reviewing, or I will be, I should say. Aaron's uh, upset. This cigar made number seven top twenty-five cigars in the world and is a rating of ninety-four. Uh, this is the Ashton Heritage Puro Soul. Apparently, uh, it's uh, pure uh, sun-grown. Now, it's made by uh, Carlos Fuente uh, Sr. He just passed on, so rest in peace, Carlos Fuente Sr. You will be missed greatly in the cigar world. 
Uh, this is a sun-grown pure rose. All the tobaccos are pure sun-grown. And finally, uh, it has sun-grown uh, Ecuador, a bottle wrapper, a binder, and filler is sun-grown. So this is purely a, a sun-grown. Now, um, let's get to the sniff test. I'm picking up light hints of earth and grass. Otherwise, this has not much smell. All right, so let's do the dry test. I'm picking up hints of hints of hay for the dry puff. So, um, so anyways, I just want to thank Johnny Sticks again for the. Um, for the lighter, the Zycar that I got, uh, it's really cool. Uh, you thought I would probably be giving this lighter to Aaron, so it's my first, second time using this lighter to light a cigar. So, without further ado, let's uh, kick the tires and light the fires. First of all, I gotta say that this cigar for single burner made almost everything flawless on the light. I like it. I like it a lot. So, sorry about my phone. My phones uh, are um, uh, binging. So, first initial puff. If the flavor is going to be this consistent, then I'm just going to say, no wonder why, so far, in my opinion, it made number seven. Getting hints of roasted nuts, cedar, and uh, freshly cut grass. This is a wonderful, wonderful cigar. This one I would say is right now a mild, uh, a medium body, and medium strength. But it might pick up in the second or third, uh, third, you know, um, the second, second, and the final third. So we'll, we'll see. Okay, so burning on a razor. Anyways, this is just really good. This is my birthday cigar. So, with that said, everyone, please stay tuned for the next part or part two. Welcome back, everyone, to the halfway point of this Ashton uh, heritage. I was just thinking about something. This cigar is pretty much burned on a razor for a couple. Minor fixes. I gotta thank Johnny Sticks wholeheartedly for this lighter. Uh, I know why uh, he sent it to me. It's because touches, uh, touch ups won't barbecue the entire cigar like a three burner, and it's easier to touch up and, and make everything even again uh, if you can. This cigar lighter has like been a uh, a dream. So as one of my friends would say. Um, so first of all. Aaron was, you're going to laugh at this, was, um, came in, he had a stick, he had ready to go, small birthday story for you all. He looked at me and he says, how's the cigar? Well, after the initial tasting, it changed over to purely a mild cigar, which it still is, but it also tastes like celery. Yeah. So, the celery is 
picked up in flavor in the halfway, but it's also got some light pepper, some really faint hint of La Hero, I would say. But, in my opinion, this cigar is so far really good. At first, I was sitting there, and I was trying to figure it out, and then I clicked in, celery. That's what I'm tasting. So this cigar so far might be a celery bomb, but out of uh, the top 25 cigars in the world, it was number 7. So there's got to be a, re there's a reason for it, and uh, I want to say again, rest in peace, uh, Turo Fuente Sr. Uh, he passed on. Carlos, oh uh, yeah, Carlos Fuente Sr. So rest in peace to Carlos. This cigar for a birthday cigar so far. Yeah, it's been very good. I do want to say, um, I was talking to someone the other day, I think it was you all in video, I think, before I got a little tipsy. Johnny Sticks, uh, it's good seeing you on Skype, man. Um, I do want to say I apologize if I was a little tipsy. Half a bottle of Crown Royal can do that, but you know what? We all had fun, so. Um, and it was cool talking with you. Anyways. Uh, the Crown Royal says it's got some clove hints in it. Yeah, that's what you drink when you slam this back in a shot glass. And then you use a chaser. Because I drink whiskey straight. Pretty much as the shot glass is the chaser. You can taste a lot of the um, clove. So, you know. So, in my opinion, this wouldn't be too bad. By the way, if you all are looking for a good cigar to, to have with a good, a good pairing for... Whiskey, which Johnny Sticks told me he doesn't drink whiskey, can't handle it, but everyone's different. I would recommend Crown Royal Black. It is a good cigar uh, blending, uh, robust whiskey designed, in my opinion, for all cigars. It matches up pretty good. So, I want to thank Aaron for the uh, donation of the Crown Royal for my birthday. Um, a couple of years ago, let me see, here it is, it's a little dusty, there's probably one shot left in this glass, but if you look at this, it's pretty dusty, this is what you buy for a uh, cigar, uh, drink, to mix it with cigars, there is something else, um, I believe it is, uh, a cigar blend out there. If you guys can hear me, sorry you don't see me on camera. Um, you can find it somewhere. Um, anyways, I'll just give you the name of it since I cannot find it right now. It is, uh, here it is. There's some whiskey still left. Liquor stores have a hard time. This is called Dowmore. Now, if you ever want to get a scotch properly, Sorry I didn't have everything together. This would be good if you got the Cigar Malt one. Cigar Malt Dalmore. It's a very good scotch and it's highly sought after to mix up with your, uh, to pair with your cigars. So if you know what's a good pairing, it's good. A lot of people like Lafrague. I won't mix it with a cigar because it just tastes so motor oily. However, you might let it soak in the bottle 10 or 20 years and let it ferment more. It might change the complexity, but who knows. So, so with that said, everyone stay tuned for the final third. Thank you. Welcome back to the final third. I decided to, in this video, to move the whiskey. And you can see my little beady-eyed son here. This Blizzard, by the way. Say hello, Blizz. He's the American Eskimo dog. You can see he's beautiful. So, you guys were wondering probably about part three. I do want to say to Johnny Sticks, first of all, I want to thank Johnny Sticks again for the lighter. Now I know why he sent it to me. I've had a couple of light touches ups to do off camera. And it burns. Once I fix it, this thing's been burning on a razor. But more importantly, you got a sheath coming. And I got a sheath coming because if Johnny Sticks didn't know, and, and if he did know, that's good for him. But as I was looking around, and Johnny Sticks gave us the Zycar, gave me this nice Zycar Tech 1 single burner. Says right in the back, fill out this, this, and this, and get a free lighter case. So... I got my lighter case coming. Now, in the other cigar case, I uh, 
got we got a vertigo from Johnny Sticks a while ago. It says get a free lifetime warranty online. So I went online and I got it. So that is really cool. So um, I want to thank Johnny Sticks for this wonderful lighter. I think this one is now my all-time favorite. I'll have to keep it near me so no one decides to pinch it because I don't like people pinching things. You know, lighters are expensive. When I first started, when I first started smoking, uh, uh, getting back into a couple years ago, about two years ago plus, my jet line here was good. But now Johnny Six gave me a jet line uh, stainless lighter. I don't know where I put it right now. Oh well. But anyways, um, first of all, the flavors. Let's just get down to this. Changed over to uh, not any. Um, much. There is a little celery left, but this changed completely over to being a spice bomb. Lajero, you can taste, and the final third. Um, since this is a heritage, I wanted to say in my last video, I was browsing fly fishing rods the other day. There's a heritage. It goes for like 250 to 300. I think it's like 209. It's called the heritage. It's, uh, I believe, a medium action, and I was thinking of it while well, thinking of this cigar, and I was thinking, you know, of how much uh, Carlos Fuente Sr. has done for the cigar world and how he's going to be missed, and this was probably rolled in the old wor rolling ways, except for the tip, which is different glue. This cigar is just amazing. Plenty of smoke output, light Lajero and um, and uh, you know it's becoming more of a Lajero bomb. The celery and cedar is dissipating, but it's still a good cigar. And because this cigar is a a um, a uh, eleven dollar cigar, that's what it retails for. Yeah, Aaron figures it out. It's a Churchill. It said eleven on the box. I wrote it on the side. Well, you didn't write it in my notes. So, therefore, it's about 11 bucks with tax. Good little cigar. Very good. Now I know why it's called the seventh, pop, uh, the seven most uh, numbered cigar out of the top 25. Why it made number seven. Aaron, do you know what number one is? Nope. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Well, so. Like Anyways, I don't really care about numbers. This has made my top 10 in 2016. So, do I recommend it? Yes, I do. Do I recommend you try it? Yes, I do. If you can get an Ashton sampler, I highly, highly recommend it. So, with that said, everyone, please add and subscribe if you like. Please post comments, leave feedback, suggestion. If you tried this or you haven't, you have questions or feedback, please keep it nice is all we ask, and enjoy every puff.